talk shop or sports. Cameron speaking. Oh, you want to talk about the new access chest? Well, let me tell you, I'm wearing it right now. Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports here in beautiful Surrey, British Columbia. We're downstairs in the basement, or as I like to call it, Goalie Utopia, um, surrounded by the latest and greatest uh, in goaltending equipment from all the major manufacturers, sitting next to Cam Matt with back for another gear segment here on the In Goal Radio podcast. And as a bonus, uh, we've got the video rolling today, so we're, we're, we're getting so I'd like, around. I'd like to stop one second. I'd like to call it something slightly different. Two guys in chests. New name. Two guys in chests. Okay. Okay. He just uh, interrupted me on my own podcast to rename the segment. Two guys in chests it is. Um, the chest today, he's quite happy with himself at this point, folks. Uh, the chest today is the CCM Axis, which is sort of the next iteration from the Premier line. Um, Cam, walk me through. Like, like This is a chest protector that I have always, we've t- I've talked about it, I've used it. Uh, I've talked about when it's on sale. The last version, I would, I should probably stock up. Kind of like when in golf they went, up, they they made the wedge grooves less, and I went and bought like multiple sets of wedges to have the cheating grooves. To me, this chest protector is like a cheat code in terms of size and coverage and presentation. What's changed from the last Premier model to this axis? Yeah, I'd, to be honest, quite a bit. Um, it, you know, you're still going to have that same level of familiarity as uh, that older Premier, especially for, you know, someone like yourself, big big CCM guy in the chest department. Um, well, let's be honest. It, like, it's it's largely a presentation thing. Exactly. Because it just, and that's the reason it was probably the biggest impetus for K. Whitmore making rule changes around the chest protector in the National Hockey League was CCM's ability within the existing rules to make a chest protector that presented as well and as big as the CCM Premier did was still within the rules. And once you got it broken in, moved as well as anything else. So at, at CCM's R&D department, like how do we push forward after that? How do you, how do you come up with something that, you know, it still retains that size aspect, but, you know, now focuses a bit more on the mobility side of things as opposed to your path. So, this is, to me, what it feels like the Axis has been able to accomplish. Um, a bit of a redesign on the arms, a bit of a redesign on the shoulder floaters, a bit of a redesign on the overall presence we see inside the neck. So starting with the arms um, in particular, um, CCM has made a different integration for how the arms actually get in, and I've also brought over a little bit of the sleeve design that you find in the shield in particular. Which I happen to be wearing right now because it couldn't be two guys in chest unless both of us were actually wearing a chest protector while we talk. That's correct. I just want to call out that I'm also wearing a medium and you're wearing an XL. So I took that solid uh, point to heart. So I don't know, maybe you should try one too. Um, mine's fitting a little looser. I have mixed in the odd salad. Um, good for you on the diet change since we last talked. Um, I believe in oversizing because if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Well, there we go. Then let's get you into an access chest. So moving forward on the arms a little bit more. Um, They've added a new system, which I actually quite like. So rather than having that same strap that you're always chasing, especially at the wrist in terms of for tightening up your arm, they switched it onto the neoprene design. Um, basically, it's a neoprene wrap that wraps all the way around in particular. Um, I feel it's a very easy adjustment to get on. Um, it holds and locks in in place very easily. Uh, you know, a great feature that, you know, something I haven't seen on chest before. I love, we love innovation. We talked about it last week with the new arms on the, on the new Bauer Ultrasonic. I wasn't aware they'd made this change, but I think anybody can appreciate it. If you've, if you've had like, an, and I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing last year's model. They were the, um, the E-Flex version, and it's got that traditional sort of Velcro around the wrist system, which is fine, but inevitably over time, they get stretched out, the Velcro catches, and it starts to chafe away at other parts of the gear. So the concept of something new here with a neoprene around the wrist, I, I like it. What's been the feedback so far? So far, great. I mean, one of these things, it doesn't, it's not going to, like you called out there, it's not going to chew apart the cuff of your glove or your blocker in particular. And that's where, you know, if you look on, you know, probably look on your glove and blocker at home, you look there, there's going to be, you know, that pilling basically caused by that Velcro catching. It helps to eliminate some of that. So again, a nice call out on that feature in particular. Sliding up the arms a little bit further, um, still a very, uh, I want to say the word oversized, but we'll call it large um, uh, elbow floater itself. Again, that coverage in mind in particular, um, really taking up space inside the net, but also offering a great deal of uh, protection value as well. 
Um, moving up the arm all the way up to the top, uh, their same Velcro adjustability that they've had before in their previous years. Um, again, giving a little bit of leeway into that size of the arm in terms of how it fits you. Um, so again, you're able to sort of adjust how the arm integrates into the chest unit. And by doing so, sort of the length of the arm, or at least the length between your shoulder and your elbow to make sure that that elbow is fitting in snug. And before we move on from the arm, I wanted to ask you about that elbow cap because I think they've borrowed some elements from the one I'm wearing, the uh, the Extreme Flex chest in terms of how those elbow caps fit in. Yes, yeah, so they are Velcroed in. This again gives it a freedom of motion adjustability, I like to call it. So it's almost like you're putting on a, a player elbow pad within the chest itself in particular. Um, that allows you to again, get a little bit of that tighter fit around the elbow without restricting the mobility of the chest itself. Um, that adjustment that we saw brought over from the E-Flex Shield, it really helped to create that kind of fit that some guys were looking for. They want a really tight elbow. We don't want to sacrifice any coverage out of it or sacrifice mobility. Just gives you that feature basically. Well, and the one thing that I wonder too, is I will say, again, big fan of the Premier unit, uh, more in the last couple of iterations. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll check out your sale prices because they are on sale here right now. Maybe I'll buy a bunch and go home and have one forever, but I'm starting to like these changes. And this one in particular, because as Velcro over time starts to get stretched out or the elastic, pardon me, starts to get stretched out in the elbows, that would be my only complaint of the old Premier is as they do get broken in to broken down is that el losing that connection in the elbow and having that get sloppy. So the ability to sort of lock your elbows in um, into what is essentially feels like a player's elbow pad and keep that connection in there over time and be able to adjust it definitely appeals to me. Exactly, and you won't have that same uh, floater sag that you would have had in the Premier where that floater does tend to slide down and actually lead to a bit of exposure. Here, it's not gonna do that because of that new style of adjustment. Okay, let's move into the chest unit. All right. D3O. D3O. Got my little call out here for those that can visually see through the radio. For those that can, it's a giant orange sticker. Cam usually has to wear it whenever he gets on the bus, but this time <laughs> it's to indicate that there's more protection in his chest protector. Yes. And the hard guard in particular, or sternum plate, um, D3 all the way throughout and called out on the chest itself with also the visible orange, which you've come to kind of see from CCM in particular. Um, great absorption, great shock absorption quality to it. Will help deaden the puck a little bit as you are getting into those chest shots to help you cradle the puck. Um, very protective overall. I, like, I definitely like it um, as a bit of a call out and just anytime anyone puts on the chest, definitely something worth noting right off the bat in particular. Shoulder floaters maintain the adjustability on the back. There was two point adjustment on the uh, on the older Premier. It looks like that's maintained here. Really gives you the ability, at least from our experience in the past, and, and again, it looks like it's been maintained, to not just, if you want the shoulder floater sort of pulled tight and wrap around you or sticking up a bit more for a little more sort of visual coverage or uh, you know to appear a little bit bigger. You also have the ability to adjust the width in terms of where they sit by changing the Velcro. In Correct. The well, I, one of the things I really find with this one, as opposed to the last year's premiere, is that uh, these sit up quite a bit higher too. So they give you a bit more presence, especially you know up in that shoulder area to create that you know visual look that you are bigger and taller, especially up in that shoulder area. Even in comparison towards the shield in particular, which is a bit more of a tapered fit in particular, this is quite a bit different where these shoulders puff up quite a bit more than that uh, the shield and chest in particular. Well, it would be a tapered fit, except I'm wearing an XL. Yes. As, as you've already pointed out. Just to make sure everyone knows. A little less tapered on me on this video. Um, the other part though uh, that I wanted to ask you a little bit about, looks like they made some changes in terms of the side and the rib protection. Uh, yes, correct. And even starting with the adjustment period in particular. So before they had two straps that actually Velcroed onto themselves. This one now is just one singular strap that Velcroes right onto the chest. Easy to grab and pull on. Um, offers a great deal of adjustability, but also that nice snugness that you'd be looking for. They've segmented the lower portion of the chest a bit more to allow for a bit more flexibility as you're actually moving, especially if you're someone who tucks in in particular, allows for a bit easier integration. Also, it looks like a molded foam with some D3O. I can see the orange looks like this. That's that, correct. Like that molded foam with D3O actually built into the side unit around the ribs. One of the things they wanted to set out with as a difference, you know, to set that axis uh, chest protectors aside was improve the rib protection in particular. A lot of guys and with the emergence of that reverse VH, especially on the post in particular, you know, guys sometimes expose themselves on the side of the ribs. They've gone out and really tried to upgrade that area to allow for that protection. Make sure we don't, you know, crack a rib or anything. 
Tucked, untucked, can you do both of this one? You should be able to comfortably do both. I mean, me personally, I like to recommend tucking in because I just feel like it's a bit of a better integration in terms of your unit and your protection in particular, but this will do both. Perfect. There we go. The CCM Axis Chest Protector brought to you by Cam here at the Hockey Shop, Source for Sports, thehockeyshop.com. Cam, if they want to, if our, our listeners here on the podcast want to get a hold of you, they got more questions about fit about style, about tucking or untucking, about how to make sure this chest protector fits with the pants they have, or do they need to upgrade there as well? How can they get a hold of you? They can give us a call at 604-589-8299. Perfect. Cam, thanks again. Look forward to coming back next week. I think we're going to keep continue down the line and look at more chest protectors here on the Ingo Radio podcast. Sounds like a great. Between two chests. Between two chests. That's the name. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that one, I think. <laughs> we're going to have to work on that one. See if my arm works with this. Can I throw with the uh, shield on? Oh, look at this. He's not even brave anymore. He hit a guy in the nuts <laughs> once with a can. He looks funny to have. This is my fun part of my job. Not a great test. I don't like this.